Great and great to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great and great to be praised. Yes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Come on, sing it again. God is great and great to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great and great to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my God is great, God is great, and great need to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great and great need to be praised. Bless the Lord. Come on, clap your hands. God is great and great need to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great and great need to be praised. Bless the Lord. Come on, sing it till you get it. God, God is great and great. Glory. God is great and greatly. Bless the Lord. I will bow, I will bow before His majesty. Yes, sir. I will lift my hands to you. Yes, sir. God is great and he's bless the Lord. Yeah, God is great. Come on, and great it to be praised. Glory, glory to Yeah, yeah, God. Yes, sir. Bless the Lord. I will bow, say, I will bow before. Come on. I will lift my hands and see him. God is great and great. Bless the Lord. Come on, put your hands on him. Yes, sir. You ought to be just as excited as you were last week. Bless him. Bless the Lord. God is great. God is great. Yes, sir. Great it to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great and he's Bless the Lord. I will bow, I will bow before his majesty. I will lift my hands. My hands. God is great. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. One more time, God is great. Say, God is great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory, glory to you. God is great. Bless the Lord. Singing, I will bow. I will bow before His majesty. I will lift my hands and sing. God is great and great is to be praised. Listen, said I get joy when I think about what he's done. I get joy when I think about Oh, come on. I get happy when I think about Get excited when I think about I get joy when I think about I get joy when I think about I get joy when I think I get joy when I think about That's what he's done That's what he's done That's what he's done That's what God done He healed my body He changed my mind He saved my soul That's what he's done He will touch your life Did he keep your mind Did he keep your mind Only keep your mind that's what he's done. Problems all around. Problems all around. He kept me saved. He kept me healed. He kept me delivered. Just that's what he's done. Just that's what he's done. Come on, put your hands. 
That's what he's done. That's what he's done. That's what he's done. That's what God's done. That's what he's done. Said I get joy when I think about what what he's done. He healed my body. He healed my body. Touch he healed my body. So glad he did. I'm so glad he did. Yeah, that's what he's done. Yes, that's what he's done. Yes, that's what he's done. Come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I didn't come to look at you. I didn't come to look at you. Lord, but I come to clap my hands. 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 I come to give him praise. I come to give him praise. Help me to give him praise. Help me to give him praise. I come to lift him up. I come to lift him up. I come to lift him up. Help me 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 to lift him up. Please, please put your hands together. Come on and give him praise. Come on and bless his name. I come to bless his name. Can we say praise the Lord? Lord. Can we say praise the Lord again? Amen. Is anybody excited about being in the house of the Lord one more time? Come on. This is another day that he has brought us to. Another day that he is keeping us. Amen. As Hurricane Eon, whatever his name, came through, he kept us safe. Amen. If you look at the pictures from down south, he didn't allow the damage that happened down there to occur here. That in itself is enough to give God praise. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you on today. We thank you because you are God. We thank you because there is no God that's like you. And so, Father, we are assembled here today to give your name praise. Praising you for your mighty acts, God. Praising you for your kindness praising you just because you've been good. Father God, we thank you on today. We thank you and in anticipation for what you are getting ready to do. Father, for how you're going to heal, for how you're going to deliver, for how you're going to set the captives free, Father. Father, we tell you thank you, God. Thank you, God. We thank you for today. Father God, we just ask God that you come into this service. Have your way. Let your spirit flow freely in today, God. And Father God, we'll forever and be careful to give your name praise, glory, and honor. For you are worthy to be praised. We say thank you. you. We say thank you. you. We say thank you. you. Hallelujah. Put your hands together.
Uh, you'll find the responsive reading on the inside of your bulletins. It is by the grace of God and his love that I am saved by faith. I guard my heart because it determines the course of my life. I run along the path of God's commands because he has set my heart free. In God I live and move and exist because I feed on bread that comes from heaven. I have life and will live eternally. When I call out to God, he answers me. He tells me things I wouldn't know otherwise. Altogether, I can accomplish what others may say is impossible. I know the scripture, yes, but more importantly, I know Jesus, and in him I have life. Come on, put your hands together one more time. You may be seated in his presence. I pray to God that we are paying attention or at least going back and looking at these affirmations. Uh, our leader doesn't do this just for naught, but this is who you call when you don't know what to do. This is what you say when you don't know what to say. By each one of those affirmations is a scripture. For those of us who don't know what to study, how to study, when to study, go back and look up the word. I promise you this is what he's preaching and teaching. And even in those situations and circumstances when you're confused, you're sad, you're disgusted, and you're busted, and you have no earthly idea what you're going to do next. It's when I couldn't say a word. When I couldn't say a word. If I couldn't say a word, tell you what I do, I'll just wave my hand. Maybe the problems in your life aren't that heavy. Maybe you always have the right thing to say at the right time. Those, this is for those of us that are still praying, Lord, make me better. Lord, give me a tongue of the learn. Help me to say what I need to say. Help me to do what I need to do. Lord, I can't say a word. Frustrated and aggravated. Lord, I can't say a word. When I can't say a word. Tell you what I do. I'll just. My head. Good God, yes. Just in case you're wondering who I'm talking about, I'm talking about King Jesus. I'm talking about King Jesus. Yes, I'm talking about King Jesus. Because he's seen of freeing of my heart, yeah, yeah. That's the only reason I can deal with all of your foolishness. Because I keep talking about our King Jesus. Down on my knees, I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about King Jesus. You may leave me, but he's a friend of mine. Put your hands together for me when I couldn't say a word. When I could not say a word. I couldn't say a word. What I do say, I'll just, just wave, wave my, my hand. Well, when I couldn't 
say a word. Come on. Lord, I shouldn't say a Said I shouldn't say a word. Tell you what I do. about King Jesus. Church, I'm focusing on Jesus. Well, I know he's my King Jesus. Uh -huh. Yes, he is. Uh, he's our friend. Oh, uh, yeah. There's that's the man out on the river. There's still a man out on the river. What is he doing? He's a still say yes, sir. He's Tell him about that man out on the river. Yes, sir. Church, there's a man out on the river. There's a man out on the river. Tell me what is he doing? He, yes, still saving, saving, saving. about King Jesus. Come on. Yeah, I'm talking about King Jesus. Church, I'm talking about a Jesus. Yes, he is. He's the freedom of my life. Come on, put your hands together right now. Yes, he is. about King Jesus. Come on. Yeah, I'm talking about King. Uh -huh. Child, I'm talking about a Jesus. Tell me who is he say? He's a friend. Yes, sir. I can take it now because he's a friend of mine. Friend of mine. I know he is. He's a friend of mine. With my head in, in my heart in, he's still my friend. I know he got it. He got me in, in the palm of his hand. He'll steal by me. He'll steal by me. He'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me. He's gonna help me. Yeah, yeah, help me, help me. He's a friend of mine. 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 Anybody know he is? Anybody know he is? Anybody know he is? Anybody know he is? Anybody know he be? Anybody know he's a doctor? Don't you know he's a lawyer? Don't you know he's a healer? Don't you know my shelter? By my shield and buffer? Well, he's a wheel. Wheel is the wheel of the wheel. Anybody know he is? Yes, I know he is. Yes, I know he is. I know he is. Know he is. That's my testimony. Church, I know who he is. Church, I know who he is. I know he is. I know he is my healer, 
Somebody say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's a friend of mine. We used to sing a song that says, for such a long time, we've been together. For such a long time, we've been friends. For such a long time, we've been together. Me and Jesus long time friends. He's never failed me. You see, you all are real churchy, but I'm talking what I know. He has never failed me. And I've, been, I've learned to wait on him and not run to everybody else for help. Yeah. I've learned to stand still and see the salvation of God. I've needed to make a living ever since I've been out of my mother and father's house. 
but God has made a way. I left when I was 22. I'm 68. God has made a way. I didn't have to swap my conscience for nobody. Hallelujah. As I said before, I used to say to the leaders years ago, I will not tell you I will not kiss a behind, but I'll pick the behind I kiss. I didn't go around just kissing rumps. Thank you, Jesus. God has made a way. Even when it got tight and things weren't right, God made a way. I thank God because I have a reputation among decent people that I don't flip-flop. I don't go where the dollar is. I know where the money is. I know how to get it out of you. But I don't play those tricks. Because I believe that one day, <laughs> after death, there's a judgment. One day. And I want to hear him say, welcome home. Thank you. I don't know what Jesus is to you. But I know who he is to me. He's all I've ever owned. Yes, sir. He's my chief cornerstone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today I know what Jesus, what Jesus is, is to, me. to me. Now, hard trials. <laughs> you talking about hard trials. Mama. I've had them. Yes, sir. But I cried to the Lord, and he fixed it all. Thank you, Lord. Didn't have to get even with my enemies. Hallelujah. Didn't have to tell on you what I heard about you like you talked about me. Right. So I stand here bloody, Thank you. but not bound. For whom the sun set free. There's a place in life that if you live right, if you live real, you can get to it. You fakes will never get there. You that men pleasers, you'll never get there. But there's a place you'll come to in life where it doesn't really matter. You're not talking about Negro talk, that trash some of you women be running your mouth on, you All know right. you're lying. It really won't matter in your heart what men think about you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Won't matter. Because you find out that they don't have nowhere to put you. Nowhere. All my times are in God's hands. You can't even kill me unless he lets you. And the reason I know that, he told cancer, step back. Yes, Hallelujah. He told the stroke, get off of him. I'm not through with him yet. Nobody's going to be worried about you all. Have faith in God. The folk will flip on you. They will flip on you. They will flip on you while you flipping. But God. Now, one of the things that I thank God, you know, I say this to people, and I say it especially because I didn't become like this as I got old. I was taught by older people. And I learned that, number one, I was, I think it was Charles, my son yesterday, whenever that was, he was yesterday. at the house. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, okay. And we were laughing about how in school, now I would fight growing up. I would fight, I would fight. Yeah, you know, since in line, I would knock the, the lake of fire at you. Right. And the problem I had bad problem, I hit first because I couldn't stand you up in my face. I walked a long way around from home. My sister would tell you, I didn't get in no junk. She back there, she nodded her head. She know I'm not lying. But now don't come behind me. Yes, my mother used to say, don't come hell hacking me. And the, right. the last fight I remember having was in church doing the service. Pulled somebody from the altar and tried to beat the snuff out of them. And you know why? For jerking a fan out my head. <laughs> what 
am I saying to you is this. There are some things that's, that's in all of us that they, they're not dead, but you must learn to take control. Hallelujah. And don't be governed by your emotions and stay out of trashy company. Most of y'all friends are trashy. That's why y'all trashy. Trashy folk don't get along well with me. And we're not talking about somebody trashy because they make less money. We're talking about toe up from the inside. Hallelujah. The church has taken a horrible downward spiral. And we have nobody to blame, first of all, for that but the pulpit. Most folks stand behind the sacred desk ain't worth spit. All right. Because you can articulate the Bible because you can homile do homiletics and you know how to, you know, my car does that at times, but it can't preach. The Bible says those that bear the ark, their hands must be clean. He didn't say you were perfect, you must be clean. You ought to have a desire to please God. There would be no preach, there were no shepherds without sheep. No shepherd got no business being more important than the sheep. Because if there were no sheep, we wouldn't need shepherds. She sheep were here before shepherds. Yes, sir. And if we're not careful, we have made up in our mind because it's, we like to trust something we can see. Uh, we know that most folk have a price. Satan told that about Job. He said, uh, all that a man has would he not give for his skin. Remove this hedge from him and I will, I will make Job cuss you to your face. That's what he said. God said, in other words, I know the work I've done in Job. Yes, You're not going to compare Job with Sister Slewfoot and Brother Screwdriver. No, no, no. I know what I've done in Job. Yes, Hallelujah. And you ought to know the day where you sit with God. Yes, I know y'all trying to figure out where I'm going. Right. But at least you're using your mind for a change. We have gone into a horrible spiral to the point that it doesn't look like we can come back to ourselves. The song that I've always loved and I've heard different people sing it, different gospel. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. I used to do this when I was a little about your age. <laughs> but I wouldn't tackle it now. Standing here wondering which way to go. So much confusion in this world below. I've been suffering and I've been driven from door to door. Now, Lord, I'm standing here wondering. I never thought I would see that about myself because I never saw a day like this day. I don't mean to make you sadder than what you look. But I, I don't, I've never seen a time like this. You don't know if you can come to church and get a healing. That's not the church I grew up in. You don't know if you're going to get a praise or a dance today. You just don't know. Because the more hell we caught, the more we made it the church. Thank God that you all can take vacation. And thank God you can go on excursion. You can go to the theme park. You go to the game. You can go to the, thank God y'all can go to the club. We can do none of that stuff. But we were more joyous. We got excuses because we couldn't even put on shorts and P.E. But we came to church and danced the night away. You all sitting up in here with thongs on and boosty, all kind of crap. And won't give God praise. And something wrong with all of us. There's some evil disease working in all of our bodies. Cancer done grabbed somewhere. Oh, we got high blood pressure. Something wrong with you everywhere. And you sit here like you miss that cute the late Queen Elizabeth. Oh, I magnify God. Magnify God. I magnify God. He's all the help we need. He's a God that's more than enough. Y'all running around making money, but you need to run around and get some power. I see somebody rolling your eyes. You roll your rump if you want to. We need help. We need help. COVID told us we need help. 
You know something wrong when people are getting paid for you dying. So who you think going to get you healed if I'm going to get $39,000 for you die? Bye, baby. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm serious. There's, got, there's about to be a change. And the change ain't going to work in most folk favor. Sit down. <laughs> Going to church now is just something to do to not stay home and sleep all day Sunday. It ain't nothing important. Nobody even really knows the Bible say forsaken not the assembling of yourselves together. So much more as you see the day of I see the day approaching. This is not the day for you to go play golf. I remember when we didn't even work on Sunday. Now, y'all do everything on Sunday. Now, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I'm just giving you a comparison. But we had more joy. More joy. Women I couldn't even shave the back of their head. They had just went all down their back. I ain't talking, I'm talking about, you know, the kitchen. Yes, sir. My God. But you couldn't speak about, you couldn't talk about Jesus. You couldn't drop a set of drumsticks in a church. Not in a sanctified church. We didn't have dumb children. No. All right. They went all Einstein, but they didn't fail in school, and we didn't get out of church to midnight sometime <laughs> during the week, and the children were back there trying to do their homework, and then when they put the pills down, they were jumping. Here we are. I know I don't look the best, but I look about as good as some of y'all, and y'all ain't 68. You look like you've been rolled hard and put to bed wet. Went through seven cities, and hell was the best one. You ought to magnify God because he brought you through hell. He brought you through high water. He brought you through divorce. He brought you to discouragement. He brought you all the way. You ought to wave your hand in the air and tell him thank you. Song said the road lies in darkness. The lights down low. Where will it lead us? No one seems to know. Well, there may be destruction and that's what worries me so. But Lord, if you know me, come on and show me which way to go. Yes, sir. Please be there. Yes, yes, yes. Nowadays, there's a desire in the church to move forward to something called so-called better. Yes, sir. Everybody wants better. We, want, <laughs> we don't want any, you know, I hear sisters are saying, I'm doing me. Heifer, you don't even know who me is. You ain't even discovered yourself. You ain't even lived. You've been in a bunch of upside down relationships. You don't know who you are. You know what your birth certificate say. Yes, sir. Y'all falling and out of love too easy. I know they don't like me this morning. You should have shouted when they were shouting last week. Now, we want to go to a more progressive place of worship. The churches now have giant screens, and right. the lights are flashing, and the auditorium is flashing the message that Jesus is the bomb. We don't even know what we're talking about. He's the bomb. We like that. Yeah, and everybody throwing their hand and rocking and doing every kind of thing, you know. Yep. And you can even win a, a, a pair of iPods at the end of the service. And now we got our, many of our worship places have uh, uh, coffee, drink, and snack machines installed. For the comfort and convenience of morning worship. I was at a funeral at a big church here in the city, and I heard, I thought it was rats or something. I heard, but I just crackling, and I looked back. Baby, the lady got a whole blanket on the floor, and, and two of the kids back there eating a big bag. I wanted to ask them, give me one of them chips for sugar. Eating a big bag of chips and drinking pop. The Bible says that I, you ought to know how to behave yourself in the house of God which is the church of the living God. Pillar, ground of truth. The only place now, it ain't, it ain't right, but it's got any kind of decorum, any kind of order, it's the courthouse. If you're talking about me, talk louder. Yes, sir. People are looking and searching for truth. Not just a bunch of superfluous fluff. 
I could have got that off of Tubi. Prime time. I could have got that off of any of the other TV programs. I didn't come here to look at you. Didn't come in to see your booty rock. No, sir. I did not. Didn't come here to see my throw rug side your eyelashes. No, sir. But I come here, and I didn't come here for you to look at me like I'm stupid. Yes, sir. But there's a need in the house. Somebody needs a healing because they ain't broke. Because they're not looking broke down. They don't mean they're not broke down. Somebody needs the anointing to flow. Somebody don't know what to do tomorrow if tomorrow comes. This is not the time to, for us to play games and, and get the lights flashing and get everybody feeling titillated and, and smooth and sensual. We don't need no air-filled hot propaganda. We don't need another light show. Y'all yes, no, better flick them lights back there if they work. Yes, sir. People can be entertained anywhere, but we need a revival. We need revival. No, no, don't get me twisted. Don't, don't add nothing to what I said. I didn't say we need to go back to cotton stockings. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say women can't wear pants. Because when that was written, men wasn't wearing pants. All right. So don't, don't put words in my mouth. I'm old enough now to say what I mean. We need to go back to where God is. The joy and the strength of my life moves all pain, misery, and strife. We need to go back to a God that's a healer, a way maker, bridge over water, doctor and Lord. We need to go back to somebody that's bigger than our troubles. We don't need to be pumped and prodded to clap our hands. We ought to be excited enough about Jesus. Oh, 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 what he done for me. I never, when I think of the goodness, see, I can't get no help, can I? And all he's done for me, my, 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 my soul, my soul, you don't know like I know. Woo. You don't know where he brought me from. You don't know what he got me out of. Yes. So y'all sitting here looking cute. Yes. God did it. They said I wouldn't make it. God did it. Yes, sir. I could have been dead. I should have been dead. I should have had diseases. But God. Hey, hey, come on, Jesus, Shiloh, Woo. glory, glory, can I get a glory? The people know out of all the mistakes they know I made there's some stuff they don't know there's some stuff that God hid there's some stuff that God didn't let you see but God so I didn't come to church to act so grand and cute I know where he brought me from and I ain't but a hop skip and a jump going back there
Jesus. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. 
I don't think I'm going to get a chance to really preach this today, but I'm going to say this. You all right, Bishop? I can recall back when I was like 11 or 12 years old, Old Southside Church of God in Christ was on Old St. Augustine Road. Uh -huh. And now you can't tell it, but at the Dorman Funeral Home was there where Lady Stanford grew up as a, in a house. It used to be a sharp curve they called Dead Man's Curve. And walking in the church, you could hear this sound. Yes, yes, yes. And it would be about seven or eight of us walking, and we would get into a trot. Because we knew, because we had gone through so much in school, we had gone so much among neighbors, you see, I noticed something about Israel. Israel multiplied and when they were forced under suffering. The sanctified church did better when didn't nobody like you. Not everybody like y'all because you ain't sanctified. Sanctified is not long dresses and nappy hair. Sanctified is a code of ethics. Sanctification is not hairdo. It's not colors, but it's integrity. Yes! So we were glad when we saw each other. We were glad when we looked up and saw another sanctified blood. And we got to church and we just danced until God brought us to victory. Am I talking to real people? What's the matter with y'all? I remember over 30, almost 40 years ago, the same mother over there, Mother Mew said, we was holding church in a house. We call for altar call. We don't do that anymore. And she came up and she was like, yes, Lord. And we put her on her knees, told her to call Jesus. You know, that's outdated now. And I remember Mother Ruchette said to me, she says, I need to go back and get my husband. I want him to get this. So I said, well, he won't get it right now. You ain't getting up. Did he do anything, Mother? Did he do anything? We need our dungeon show. That don't mean you can't go to the movies. That don't mean you can't listen to Mary J. That means you ought to have something in you that tells you how far to go and when to bring your butt back home. Yes, Healing was a prominent thing among us. Some of y'all can just remember 30 years ago when I started this ministry on 21st Street, our night, Sunday night service would be filled with other denominational people because they thought I was a root man. But they didn't understand the praise in there was so thick. Hallelujah! Glory! We need some deliverance! Sanctified women, men ain't got no business. Men or women got no business leaving you and you pitiful. They ought to recognize they left a good thing. You ought not be on drugs when you make Jesus number one. I know I don't walk the best, but am I, am I walking? Those that were there, the medical facility said that it would be over eight months before I could walk again. If I walked. I got the active use of my limbs. Hallelujah. But praise, praise. Put a praise on it. Put your hands together. In eight weeks, I was walking. Eight weeks, I was talking. Eight weeks, I was dancing.
going to say this and I'm going to get out your way. Hallelujah. I want you to just repeat after me. Say, Lord, Lord take me back, take me back to, the place to the place I first received you. I, I, not necessarily to the building, but to that place. I really had more faith, it's embarrassing to say, I had more faith when I first got saved. If they told me that a garbage can could walk, I believed it. But I hung around other church folk and lost my faith. Y'all stop putting folk down in the streets. They real to what they believe. We faking it up in here. The decisions, can you hear me, brother? Can your husband hear me? Stop trying to make all the decisions yourself. Your wife married you. That's why she, she, she assumed you was a man. <laughs> it's all right to make a mistake and fail. And I'm, it's all right to not to have all the right answers. But you, will, you let God lead you. David was a shepherd, but he had a shepherd. The shepherd said, the Lord is my shepherd. Now, you ain't putting no pressure on this man, I hope. Because you know I'm your dad, I'll get you. Stand by him. Don't remind him uh, he made the wrong decision. He paid, should have paid the light bill when he paid the car. No, all that kind of crap. You couldn't pay none of it by yourself. Uh, let's get on back to some basics. He ought not have to knock your eye out to know he's the head of the house. See there? I know this is a little different for the Baptist, ain't it? <laughs> but see, Baptist is just a denominational name. There's sanctified folk in the Baptist church. Oh, shot. He coming to hire you. Hey! The law. And y'all need to get back to some talking in tongues. Because the devil don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to read something to you very briefly so we can get you out of here. God said he's going to let the glory of this church greater than when we started. We were, everybody, I remember a mother came to our church from another church. And the doctors told us she had to lose both of her legs. Some of y'all remember Mother Hagen. About four feet eleven and going to heaven. And she told the doctor, said, I got to go and see my specialist. He said, ma'am, I am your specialist. She said, no, I got another specialist. He said, well, who is this? He said, he on 21st Street. And she walked in church that night, and she said, Bishop, you know, she didn't talk very clear. She said, Bishop, you got to pray for me because they're going to lose my legs. Now, the thing that was so funny that she didn't want to not lose her legs because of what some of you all would have been all about. She said, there are two things I need my leg for. I said, what is, mother? The Lord know I love my, my spike heel shoes. And he know I love to dance for it. She said, I can't dance with God without my legs. You see, when we go back to the place where we're supposed to be, church is not going to be a trauma. People are coming to get their deliverance. Okay? So I called, I think it was Elder Denson here there, and I said, go in the back, get me a basin, fill it with water. We had a white, I don't know why we had a white, but we had a white basin. I think we used to do feet washing. And I took the oil and put, I said, Mother Hagen, I said, now nah, I'm going to have to anoint your legs. Is it all right for me to lay my hands on your legs? She said, she pulled her dress up. She said, come all the way up, bitch. I said, no, Mother. We're going to deal with just the legs. She was that serious about wanting her healing. I said, now, saints, I need you to turn the pot of praise to the highest God in heaven. trying to show you that I'm great. I'm trying to show you what your praise do. And we praise God and praise God until Mother Hagen jumped out of that, that, that basin and with the running 
and the doctor stole She lived for years later. She just died of old age. The doctor stole her. They didn't see no need to take her legs off. Stand up, Sister King, quickly, if you can. You know what happened to your husband. Steel, how many tons of steel fell on him, crushed his leg because of praise in the church. We're not talking about Pastor Ica, we're talking about praise. The Lord said to me, he said, lay hands on him. So I thought that was just me thinking. I said, well, me no fool like myself. That, that man leg was crushed. The Holy Ghost said, lay hands on him. So I tried to take a shortcut. He was, they pushed his wheelchair in the, in, the, in the aisle. And I said, uh, Brother Wayne, do you believe God is a healer? He said, if you say so. He said, whatever you tell me, I believe it. That's another problem. Y'all second. You ought not be in a church where you don't trust your leader. I need every, everybody paying attention up in here. I said, roll him up here. They rolled him to the front. Y'all did the praising. God connected with the praise. Did he not walk? To the day he passed away, walking. That's the kind of God we want back up in this house. That's the kind of God we need up in this house. You love your job more than you love your God. Till God gonna take your job. He know how to get your attention. He gave you that job for supplemental stuff. He never meant for that job to replace him. If he gave you a man or woman, he gave him to you to full of joy and contentment, not for you to replace him with them. I want to read something to you, so I promise to get out your way. Now, some of us heard of the Battle of the Bulge, right? During the wartime. I forgot, I forgot a lot of y'all in here don't know that. Anyway, World War II. I want you to listen to this. Now, you read one verse. I promise you, I promise you I'm not preaching. I'm just as done as a barbecue chicken. Read one verse. One verse, 616. I'm not preaching. Listen to me carefully. I want you to take this with you when you go. I think I said 16. Yes, read it loud and clear. Thus saith the Lord. Okay, I think you're loud. Come on. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. That's my son. Where is the good way? Ask for the old path. Where is the good way? Come on. And walk therein. And walk therein. And what? And ye shall find rest for your souls. Aren't you agree with me that a lot of us don't have no rest? Some of you are pissed off to the highest pissativity. You wake up pissed. You go to bed mad with somebody or something. That is not the way of a believer. Twitter twat, twang, everything. They want to come in here and critique me. I'm trying to talk to Negroes that understand me. You will find what for your soul? Rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Now, the path here. I'm not preaching this other thing. I want to read to you is something that happened in the Battle of the Bulge. And I'm going to show you from that and sit down. That's what has happened to the church. During World War II, there was a group of German soldiers who dressed themselves in the uniforms of the Allies. You got that? These German soldiers used American military vehicles and went through the German countryside changing the road signs. Some of y'all ain't got that one yet. When the American troops came to the, the various crossroads, they were often fooled and led off in the wrong direction because folk looking like they were friends had changed the road sign. This is one of the few churches, not the only church, one of the few churches still got a mother's corner. So 
Because most pastors don't want nobody praying for them because they're going to pray them right. Yeah, y'all run and play for all these people. Keep them charged up so they can rob them. Just because you can tell somebody something don't mean you're a prophet. There's always been somebody can tell you how fat you are and, and how what you ate last night and who you that ain't nothing new. That don't make you a prophet because you know I got on uh, dog draws. Because you know what? They know all of us in church looking for shortcuts. I don't want to love nobody and get blessed. I don't want to go through nothing and be blessed. I want a shortcut. I told you I'm not preaching. Let me get out of the way. So the deception by the Germans almost gave them the victory in this very decisive battle known as the Battle of the Bulge from the Second World War. We've got these folk who've dressed in preacher garments. Everybody around now got their only big dress. I remember when you used to stone the, the, uh, the, the, the not the Catholic, what them people used to be called? The queens, drag queens. I don't know what they call them drag queens because they look better than most women. Now we okay long as I'm in the pulpit. I got on this big duck's cap. Ain't got power to kill a mosquito with both my hands. They changed the road signs. They took praise out of here. They said that's emotionalism. But I didn't hear about sanctified folk going to the crazy house. Because I will keep him in perfect peace. Who's mine? We need to go back. 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 Y'all need some integrity. Somebody that you all respect a lot said to me, how much... I can work it, but I could I pay you for you to come and do such and such. I said, uh uh. What do you mean, uh uh? I'm willing to give you more than probably you ever made. I said, uh uh. I said, just like you know I can see, I see you. <laughs> and I don't make bills for, for, for fun, I don't make bills and looking for your rent to pay for it. <laughs> just because you're nice to me, I don't take advantage of you. You need to go back where that matters to you. Take me back. I realize that I'm getting up out of here. But I want to see the glory of God. I want to see the young kids grow in a wholesome place. They're going to always be hoodwinkers and contrary people and prophets. One one low down thing, send another one here because he got so much money he thought he was going to get it. And I said to him, I said, just be yourself and people will learn who you are. But right now you look like somebody else. How many of y'all want to move to God? A move of God? Or you just want God to move you? Let me tell you something. Brother back there in the, in the pretty thing, blue white eyes, say you in blue. That must be last Sunday. Beige. Deacon Wilson, he's farther south on that side. The brother here. Let me tell you something. Because there's a title in the front of my name and it says bishop, that don't mean nothing. If I ain't Jewish. And you ain't got no business being all just carried away with bishop. Herod sat on the throne and enjoyed the praises of men and maggots ate him while he was sitting there being gloating over that. God is a jealous God. Why don't y'all put him back as priority in your life? 
I'm not on whether or not you like ladies or whether you like uh, full constrictors or whether you're into hot dogs or hamburgers or cheese. I'm not into all of that. I'm just talking about you get a preference in your life. Say, I love God. He will direct you what to do. Don't let anybody else tell you what you're doing wrong because they're probably wrong. Only thing I can tell you is what the scripture says. I'm a jealous God. And I will not allow no other gods. And so, as I take my seat, and I apologize if I disappoint us who come in here, but I take my seat and I say this. Listen to me carefully. Nobody could have told me. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody could have told me unless it had been a bona fide prophet that I would have stood here that Sunday in September of 2015. We had a high service. And, and I, I even had a voice left. I was starting a song off and turned. Thought I was going to turn. And did this and couldn't move no forward. I couldn't pick up one key. Nobody could have told me. They had to carry me out of this place. I'm, I'm trying to help you with something. I'm not looking for something because I don't need it. You don't know what evil is blowing in tomorrow's wind. And if you face that wind without protection, it is hard to call on him and believe too when you've ignored him. Deacon Wilson, was, I think it was your first time at our church, was it? I understand he helped carry me next door. I didn't want to go to the hospital because I was understood what I was saying, but they said the words were coming out like with gargles. I wouldn't go to the hospital, but there was next I said, I went home, I just wanted to go home. I didn't understand it. The next morning, I thought I was fine. I got up, and I fell about six times trying to get a new distance from the restroom, and I was all bruised up. The doctor said, you got just a two-hour window. When did you try? Man, that was the yesterday. Oh, we passed that. Stand up, uh, Brianna. Where are you? Y'all stop making the children go sit down somewhere. Their praise is probably the most sincere than some of ours. There was something called Periscope. I don't know where it is now. I had to sit home. I couldn't get out the chair when she come back from. She like that, didn't she? Trying to boss me around. I had to sit right there, and I turned Periscope on. And I saw this child. My chair was here, and I saw her. She was just a carrying on like a butterfly. So you know I said, they got that child in that pulpit playing. But I noticed my legs started burning. So when Sister Eichelberger came home, I said, why y'all have Brianna up there in that pulpit carrying on like she's crazy? Couldn't say much because you know she could have just pushed me down and left. I said, I said, what you said, Deacon Hooks told her to get in that chair because God said He wanted to deliver you. I said, Well, my legs burn. She said, well, Why don't you get up and walk? I said, You know I can't walk. I said, Well, sit there then. I started walking. Now guess what? Sometimes God allows you to get mad so you can make a change. Some of y'all in some bad relationship because you ain't been mad enough. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill them either, but I'm going to get on. A so I waited till she got out of the room out of there. And I said, let me see. I couldn't stand up. I stood up and I said, God, give me legs to move. Because I better sit down. Based on normal senses, many of you are better than what you are, but you're basing your life on what you feel. I couldn't hold it. I couldn't hold it. I sent somebody to the store to get me a writing tablet. I hadn't seen one of them since I was in first grade. I couldn't make letters. I couldn't do nothing. I could. I, I walked all over the room trying to put on the well. Yeah, I stepped in and the one of them jumped down there and I was running behind her. 
You see, what am I saying to you? I'm telling you, you don't know what evil. But I dare you, I double dare you to make God number one. Whatever evil blows your way, it's going to blow for your good. But we know, I'm going to my seat, all things, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord, to those that are called, all things, all things, that divorce all things, him leaving you all things, her betraying you all things, it's working, it's working, can't hear nobody. So leave it alone. Leave it alone. How many understand that God can handle it better than you can? Leave it alone. Won't you just lift your hands if you receive that? Leave it. You ought to leave it alone. God can handle it better than you can. Leave it alone. Come on, put your hands together. to dig to child the one you dug it'll be sufficient for you you know God can handle it better than yes I leave it alone yeah talk about me just as much as you please the more you let yourself talk I'm gonna stay on my knees I know God can handle it better than yes I leave it He can handle it better than Come, come, leave it alone What if you got kids that you trying to raise You'll find your answer wrapped up in God's praise Tell me he can handle it Deliverance, you'll take my sorrow, give me hope for tomorrow. 
you take your problem and you back and answer. You got it, he'll fix it. You got it, he'll fix it. Oh, yes, he can. He can handle it. I know he can. I know he can. God can. I know he can. Look in the mirror, say these words. Either you believe God or you don't. Either you believe God or you don't. Either you believe God. Either you believe God or you don't. Either you believe God. Either you believe God. Either you believe God or you don't. Either. Yes, sir. Either you believe God or you don't. Either you believe. Either you believe. Your choice. Either you believe. Yeah. Either you believe trouble, either you believe sickness, either you believe yes, either you believe yes. Come on, say that with me. Either you believe, either you believe. Come on, either you believe or you don't. Make it personal. Either I believe or I don't. Either I believe. Come on, either I believe or I don't. Either I believe.
I tell you, the only problem, only problem I have with you, this is what we be ready to do at the beginning. This is the kind of, you, you may be seated. No, we did this at the beginning. They didn't do this at the beginning. Yes. The singers and the music, when Bishop's leading first, we do this at the beginning. But the only way that you can come in like this, and that's, I wasn't there when my father was young, younger than now. Doesn't that make sense? I know that's impossible to believe, but I really wasn't there. <laughs> but just 21st Street alone, and I'll give you a date to help you. Back in 1986 until 1995, we moved to 7th and Market. Thank you, sir. But we moved prior to us moving. And I promise I won't be for you long. I did not know what it was like to have a quote unquote dead service. Now maybe it was one, but I'm just being honest. I don't. Sister Amy, how old are you? Sister Amy is 40 years old. When Sister Amy was younger than Brianna, who's a teenager, they were a part of what we called the Ebony Angels. Since that time to this time, I, I can't recall having a dead service. I will say this. I do remember somebody dying in service. Seventh and Market, a young lady about the size of Cadence, it's her age, she expired in service. We had nurses there at the time. All of them checked her. Listen to me. She had no pulse. She had gotten cold. And there was no breath in her body. We didn't call rescue. We didn't call the police. She was in the back of the church. We brought her to the front of the church. I know what it's like for God's miracles to be on display. What was focused and what was central in every one of our services was the power of God. There was no personality that drove our services. We came in looking for God to move. This is not a reprimand. Let me tell you something. It wasn't that we didn't have problems. We just knew God was going to solve it. I want you to think about it. When you serve a never-ending fountain, how dare you be thirsty and go home empty? The pool that you hear Bishop talking about is the lack of anticipation. We came to church looking. Listen to me. Somebody was going to be healed because somebody was going to be sick. So sickness didn't bother us because sickness meant healing. Headaches didn't stop us because a headache meant healing. Cancer didn't stop us because cancer meant healing. Diabetes didn't stop me because diabetes meant healing. When I'm looking for God to heal, getting a diagnosis don't scare me. We've turned a lot of the truths of the church into cliches. If I had never had a problem, I wouldn't know he could solve them. That it's such church jargon to you, but that's what we lived by. What you call cliche, we call truths of life. That's why sometimes I almost, almost wish I was Chinese. Because they understand what a proverb is. The sayings of our elders 
the things that they have learned and are able to concisely fit them in a sentence will keep you when you can't find your boyfriend's phone number. When, when you can't remember Matthew 44 and 4, you might be able to remember, and, and it's habit now because I, I know so much scripture, the prudent shall learn to be silent. That's, that's actually scripture. Look it up if you will. There's so many things in our lives, and you can go ahead and bring the offering table. It's the only way I'm going to stop. So many things in our lives, prepare your hearts to give an offering if you will that would be solved if we would literally learn instead of putting it on Facebook and instead of putting it on social media platforms if you would only but bend your knees take a little time and talk to Jesus he answers when I don't even know you're suffering he answers even when I don't know you need to call me he answers always at this time, if you would prepare your heart to give an offering. <laughs> Got sidetracked, looked at the wrong face. Whew, good God. Listen, y'all, 